ten kings and nations tremble at his voice. All creation rises to rejoice. Behold our God seated on his throne. Come, let us adore him. Behold. everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you and I give you thanks and praise, Lord, for the day that you have given us, a new day that is filled with new mercies from above. Thank you and I praise you, Lord, for your continual forgiveness of our sins. Father, I ask that if there is anything in my life that does not please you, that you will wash me clean, forgive me of my sins and offenses, Lord. Listen to my prayer. Father, you are the righteous God. You are a generous Father. There is nothing that we lack when we are in obedience to you. Father, I thank you and I praise you for your faithfulness that you are always faithful even in times where we are not. Help us, Father God, to put you first in our life in every single area, at home, in our relationships, at work, in the community, at church, everything that we are involved in, Lord, 
May you be the center focus. May you be in that first place, the place that you deserve. Father, be with those who have departed from the church, who have walked away from their faith. Father, I beg you to bring them back. We don't stop praying for them. We don't stop lifting them up to you, Father God. But we know that you love them even more than we love them. But Father, in your time, bring them back to you. Bring them back to obedience. Bring them back to your side, Heavenly Father. These things I ask in your Son's name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, 21st Century Idolatry. It was written by Antonio Corrales and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 21 through 27. So says the word of God. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, add your burnt offerings to your sacrifices and eat meat. For I did not speak to your fathers or command them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this is what I commanded them saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you shall be my people, and walk in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well with you. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but followed the counsels and the dictates of their evil hearts, and went backward and not forward. Since the day that your fathers came out of the land of Egypt until this day, I have even sent to you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them. Yet they did not obey me or incline their ear, but stiffened their neck. They did worse than their fathers. Therefore you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not obey you. You shall also call to them, but they will not answer you. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. A very subtle form of idolatry has penetrated the Christian world of the 21st century, the cult of success. A pastor is worth his results. If he has a church full of members or a high financial budget, then it is a sign that he is a successful pastor. The God of success is becoming the Baal who tests our fidelity. God did not promise success to Isaiah. God predicted failure, but God also demanded fidelity from Isaiah. God did not promise Jeremiah success. Instead, God predicted the people would not listen to him, but God demanded that he continue preaching. Christ did not promise his followers success. He did not promise them temples full of people or great wealth, nor tall and comfortable buildings. Christ promised them a cross, a pilgrimage through the desert, abandoning everything for him. He did not demand results from his disciples, but he demanded for them to go out and preach the gospel. Success is not a bad thing. What is extremely dangerous is the cult the success. The church of Sardis and Laodicea were very successful, but Christ only had chastisement for them. The cities of Smyrna and Philadelphia were poor and weak, but Christ praised them wholeheartedly for their faith. May your success be praised by God and measured by the fulfillment of the Great Commission. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we were not promised a cushioned life being Christians. We were not promised easy travels and things without stress, without worries, without concerns. My brothers and sisters, we are commanded to follow Christ. We are commanded to pick up the cross and follow him. We know that things are not going to be easy for us. But we have to abandon everything for the sake of the gospel. We have to abandon everything for the sake of following Christ. What we were promised was eternal life in heaven with God. What we were promised 
was God being there for us through thick and thin, through good and bad, Him being our refuge, our comfort, our strength. We were promised mercy that is new every morning. We were promised grace. We were promised forgiveness. We were promised that in the end, for eternity, we will dwell with God in a place that there is no sickness, no crying, no death, no sorrow, no persecution. We were promised an eternity in paradise with our Heavenly Father. Don't get sucked in to the idolatry of being successful. Don't be discouraged if things outwardly seem to be failing because God uses the failures and sometimes failure is his plan. But God uses those who are willing to do his work. We cannot measure our success, my brothers and sisters on this earth. But God is keeping score. God is keeping count of all that we do for him. And success belongs to him. We are called to plant seeds. We are called to spread the gospel. And God is the one who is successful and mending hearts, softening hearts, and bringing hearts to repentance. So my brothers and sisters, don't be discouraged by the 21st century idolatry, which is success, but be encouraged that each and everything that we do for God, he sees, and we will reap our reward in heaven. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. with me for miles and you've brought courage through my trials oh god how you've been good to me so here i stack up all the stones that tell of all the good you've done oh god
Amen, what a beautiful song. And now, my brothers and sisters, I invite you to turn to our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.